How do I express this without giving it away? I went to Maplin's and brought some new 244 and new 245 jets and there's more in the post, coming in the post along with sockets so we're going to replace all of them on the motherboard and I put the ones in I brought today and look what it just did we have to stick the cards in and see what we get on the display bear with me, we will be back we've plugged everything back in now, will we get anything on with this? I'm giddy with excitement here. We've got the first sign of life since I got the name. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. <laughs> Party check one. I think we have a RAM error. I don't know. You'll have to confirm that to me if Google doesn't in the meantime. Let's watch it do it again. Off. On. Yes, we've got life. <laughs> this is brilliant! And we've got stuff coming up to the display as well! Yes! We are a major step in getting this machine fully operational! <laughs> it's not getting to the point of reading the floppy drives, but we're one step closer, one massive leap closer, to getting this beastie operational. When the rest of the 245s and 244s arrive in the post, we shall stick them into the motherboard, and you never know, we might get a full boot. But we've got enough alive. Hello. Uh -huh. so we're displaying stuff on the screen. Oh. Does it work for you, is it? Yes, we have life. An original IBM 5150. Oh, how old is that then? Well, they came out in 1981, this one's from about 82, 83. So it's easily 30 years old. Yeah, very good. <laughs> and I've done a wonderful job of de-rusting the case as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Watch this. I, for once I'm right about being wrong. It is trying to access the operating system. At least two. What does that mean? Well, we are a major leap forward in getting this thing operational. It's no longer in the land of the livid dead. It's now in the land of the livid sort of tranquilucy. What's the, what's the term that's always come up? The sort of world between worlds? I can't think of the term. Ah, oh, damn it. Stick it in the comments. IBM 5150. It's coming back to life. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Mr. Ash for suggesting the chips that fail most, the 245s and the 244s. The rest will have to be replaced in the next few days, as tomorrow is Sunday. And today is Saturday. And the day after is Monday. And then Tuesday. And all this week I was at work in, well, Sussex, actually, Hastings. It's a fun drive to Hastings. So, yeah. Have fun. Bye bye. <laughs> As part of an update to what's going on with this computer, because I feel it's always good to keep people informed, 
we still have life, although we lost it for a bit. We're getting parry check error two, which might have something to do with me playing around with the configuration of the chips. As you know, 244 and 245 chips are dead and currently in the process of being replaced. The garage electrical supply is currently not dumping a uh, voltage that tingles when you touch the chassis of anything earthed in the garage, which is nice. Yeah, the garage electrical supply needs to be looked into, that's for certain, because you don't know when just a slight tingle could become bang, girl's hospital or the grave. This little bugger caused a little problem earlier, and it's got a dead flower stuck to the back, which is fantastic. This is the trouble of doing this in the garage, there's all sorts of debris from the garden gets in either once living or otherwise always the way though once living or otherwise anyway let's get to the point and stop rambling when I, I came back after having tested this machine for the first part of the video you would have last seen I fired it up and it did do the squit it continued to do diddly squit for the rest of the day no matter what I tried then I came out this morning to fire it up and see if it, the case of diddly squid changed and I was expecting it to not have changed. Let's remove that because it's annoying me. It didn't go out of the garage, it's now sitting next to the screwdriver. And we run into the thing that it comes back to life going beep beep beep, you know, the usual sort of stuff it does. So I start, uh, so I switch it back off, come back a bit later, still does it, so then I start slotting in cards, one by one, seeing what the errors come up on the screen. Stick this one in, boots up, switch it off, switch it back on, goes back to the dead state. Mm. Yeah, been doing the exact same process with all the other cards. Yeah, this one was causing it to return back to the land of the dead and could be the reason why the motherboard failed in the first place. I don't know that as pure speculation. But what chips are on there? 74LS244, 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 74LS245. And yeah, you can kind of see, there's another 244, another two 244s, and yeah. We might know why this card has been causing issues to this computer. We got some more. The amount I ordered from Maplins might not be enough to get this machine fully operational. I. I think I'm going to have to go online and order about, say, 20? 20 of each? That should cover me for quite a while. Should easily cover this machine and maybe a few other retro machines, maybe my BBC Micro if they decide to die in that. So yeah, just an interesting update. The thing's back operational. We did have some heat cups yesterday with it dying again, but the board which has caused it, which is the expansion board, the expansion unit sitting over there. Yes, the garage is an absolute shit pit, but it's a pretty standard state for the garage. And, yeah, it's starting to look all good now. We're starting to figure out what's causing what error. Uh, Ash, who you lot probably won't know him unless you're in the live chats with both my chats, uh, VX's chats and whatnot. There's a few long time people who appear there and we discuss this sort of stuff. We also make loads of horrifically overtly sexual jokes and whatnot, but that's part of, well, having fun. And anyone who goes, oh, you shouldn't make sexual jokes, I'll say, you are wrong there because it's all part of fun and enjoying yourself. And as long as you're not actually being blatantly sexist, racist or anything, what's the problem? Let's see what the contrast does.
Whee! It makes it disappear. What a surprise. And now uh, brightness the same. So yeah, you just keep contrast and brightness up to full by the looks of it. So yeah. The IBM 5150 is looking quite up. But because it's Sunday, and as I've expressed before, I hate Sundays. The chips aren't going to probably arrive to at least Monday or Tuesday. Nah. Anyway, we're running out of recording time, so it's time to bang this up on YouTube. Part 5 can be wherever we're up to next. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the fun.